Welcome back. My name is Andrea. This is Dessert First and today I'm going to show you how to make my baked beans. They're super easy to make. They taste so good. They will be on point and ready for your summertime barbecue. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's get started on our baked beans. So really simple. Um, it is a lot of ingredients, but um, it's going to be well worth it. So we're going to start off with three cans of pork and beans. So we're just going to dump those in and just dump everything in. So the liquid and everything. So you don't want your baked beans to be too dry. And I'm just using just regular pork and beans. So we're going to go with three cans. Now if you're making this for um, a large gathering you can definitely double or triple you know your amount so it's easily scalable and you can make less as well so just scale it down all right so there's our three cans of pork and beans now we're also going to add some diced onion. This is just a yellow onion. Um, I diced it up, kind of just a rough dice, so they're not all exactly the same size, but they're small, medium to small. And this was about, it's about a half a cup, um, or you could do like a half of a small onion. So just dump that in there. And you don't have to worry about sauteing your onion first because this is going to to cook slowly so they'll they'll become tender all right now we're going to go with brown sugar now I have one cup of um, lightly packed not I didn't pack it in there um, really tight so just lightly packed brown sugar one cup if you don't like very sweet baked beans then you can cut this amount in half if you like a really sweet baked bean I would suggest seeing how it tastes before you added more to it so so one cup of brown sugar and that was dark brown sugar you could go with light brown sugar as well so we just always have dark brown sugar here so and then we're gonna go with one quarter of a cup of molasses, and I'm using the unsulfured molasses. So whatever brand you have will be fine. So just a quarter of a cup. And I will tell you, honestly, I, I never measure any of this stuff out. I just dump stuff in and go. So, a few years ago, I finally sat down and kind of wrote out some measurements so that I would have something to go by. All right, let's mix that in. And then we're going to add some liquid smoke. So this is just gonna kind of help get it a little bit of a smokiness. Now, if you are going to put this out on the smoker then you might be able to just omit this so uh, we're going to use one tablespoon and then we're going to add some Worcestershire sauce and we're going to add two teaspoons two teaspoons of lemon juice and I'm just using the bottled lemon juice and 
And then we're going to add some mustard. Now you could use just yellow mustard, but I kind of like to use the Dijon mustard personally. So we're just going to go with one tablespoon. And then we're also going to add some ketchup. So we're going to add two tablespoons of ketchup. Give that a mix. And the lemon juice and the mustard are just going to help to balance your flavor. So just think of it as a, a sour because you've got sweet. So you just need that to kind of help balance your flavors a little bit. And then lastly, we're going to add our dry. So we're going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm actually using granulated garlic. So I don't like to use garlic salt. I also, in other recipes, I don't like to use onion salt. I want to control the amount of salt. So I'm also going to add some black pepper. And this is really just going to depend on your personal preference. So we're just going to go with a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'm just going to go with about a half a teaspoon of salt. You can taste it once it's heated up and then kind of adjust some of that to your own personal taste. So. So we're just going to mix that up. Now, they're called baked beans, so you could dump this into like a baking dish, pop it in like a 250 to 300 degree oven for an hour or maybe longer until it reaches the desired thickness that you want. Um, I tend to just mix it in a saucepan and then put it on the burner on top of the stove. I bring it up to just a simmer and then I turn it down low and then just stir it every 10 or 15 minutes uh, until it reaches the thickness that I want. I don't want it to get super thick because then the beans just kind of become mushy. So, and then if you wanted to put it out on your smoker, then underneath maybe a slab of ribs that you're smoking off, I wouldn't put it under chicken. Um, but you could totally put it under like ribs or um, another uh, beef thing. So just put it in like an aluminum pan and then just slide it underneath. And then as your ribs um, cook, the fat, the drippings will drip in there and just add some more flavor. But, but you don't have to do that. So, All right, so I'm just going to put this on the stove top and just let it go. All right, so our baked beans are done. I just let them cook uh, on the stove top for about an hour to two hours, uh, just until it got the thickness that I wanted. So I want them to not run all over the plate, but I don't want them to be mush. So um, just cook them until you get the consistency that you prefer of your baked beans. So, so I'm just going to pour this into another bowl here into my serving bowl. This actually is a bowl that's uh, kind of a storage container, but it's nice enough that you can serve in it too. And it just has a nice lid to pop on. Just like that. And let's grab and they're still really hot. They've been cooling for probably 30 minutes and they're still steamy hot. Those are amazing baked beans. So they have some sweetness. So if you don't like sweet baked beans, just cut that brown sugar in half. So, but for me, they're perfect. Um, 
yeah, I can't wait to have this alongside some barbecue and maybe some potato salad too. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other fabulous videos. Um, like it, share it, leave me a comment. Till next time.